Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so pumped to start this series because I just love this game and everything about it. If you are currently confused, do not worry, you will get well educated about this game I am speaking on. So, jumping into this, I am starting this off as hopefully one of many fan art series of like videos to come on my channel because I am definitely the proud member of many a fandom and I can gladly rant about all kinds of series. You just wait. <laughs> but over the last few years, one of the series that has commanded my heart and is one of my favorites ever. I am of course speaking of a small app, Otome slash dating sim game called The Arcana. I will explain, but first. The very first piece I show at the beginning of this video is actually of one of the main characters from this game named Countess Nadia, which was the first of them that I drew for this series, but at the time I did not think I would end up wanting to turn this into a video series here on my channel. Little bit of a bummer, but I will talk more about her at a later date. So, uh... But for this video, I will give you guys my best non-spoiler review of the like general story and all the reasons why I love this game, and hopefully I can speak a little bit more in depth about the character I'm currently working on for this video, our magical boy, Asura. Also, if I mispronounce any names, that is just because I have a mush mouth. You will understand later on. <laughs> Also, please note that I am in no way sponsored by Nick Hy Nick uh, see see what I mean Nick's Hydra to advertise their game. But if they wanted to sponsor me in my mush mouth, that would be pretty amazing. I also have linked the Arcana Amino group, which you can find me on. My username there and on any of the other Amino communities I'm a part of is the same as my Insta, which is Ciara underscore, uh, underscore 13. I'm also not sponsored by Amino in any way to promote any communities. I've just been on Amino for a very, very long time. Like, seriously long. <sighs> With that out of the way, let me get into the overview of this game. So, as I mentioned, this is considered a kind of, like, choose-your-own romance game. Or at least it is now? Okay. I actually started playing this game way back when it first came out, and before there were any kind of indiv individual character routes. Or, like, the Wheel of Fortune, or any of the other new, like, fun features that they've put into the game. I've literally watched this game develop, and them to build it up from just this tiny little thing, which is really cool. Just the uh, general beginning in uh, intro chapters is what I had when I first started playing this game. That is how long I've been playing. Um, I also want to mention that I never buy into the whole in-app purchase thing for most games that you find in the app store now, but this is the one and the only game I have actually genuinely wanted to give them my money and support the game by doing like in-app purchases and now just their general merch stuff because they just came out with the pre-order for the official tarot deck from this game and your girl she needs to get her hands on this like seriously the, these cards are just gorgeous um but yes so i have definitely some experience hunting through the app general app store playing games that fall into this otome dating sims realm of games but i typically end up uh dropping a lot of these games because they tend to get stale or you just like get stuck because you know coins or whatever in-game purchase that you're trying to get like free is not recharging fast enough so you get kind of annoyed and I usually end up hating the MC, MC stands for main character that you play as, because one, it's typically a, like a girl, which I don't mind, but she generally doesn't have like much backbone as a character during most story routes, so that doesn't really float my boat. And this is where one of the first things that really impressed me about the Arcana comes in. And that is that one, it's very inclusive to like all genders of people by providing you with the option to choose your own specific pronoun. So if you don't like playing from the perspective of a female character, you definitely don't have to. 
And also the game provides you with both male and female characters to choose from as far as like the actual story routes go. There are a total of six characters that are clearly going to have roots. But as of right now, it's really the main three characters that are playable. But overall, the characters are so well written and interesting. Plus the design and the art in this game is just gorgeous. It's so well done. Um, but of those six characters, the three that you can actually play through and like have like massive story roots and chapters to their books are Nadia, Julian, and of course Asra, who you see me working on in this video. But before you can choose any one of them to play, the game does a very good job of introducing you to them, as well as the overall sort of moving force of the story. So, in the beginning of the game, you are the apprentice to the magician named Asura, whom you live with at your guys' sort of magical, you know, shop. Lots of cool trinkets and stuff, and then you guys do tarot readings for people as well. The only problem is, is that pretty much you and all the other main characters have no memory from like the last three years or so, if I remember right. Asura is about to disappear on one of his many adventures and is entrusting you to watch over the shop and of course his tarot cards while he is gone. He um, asks you to read his cards before he leaves the shop, which sort of introduces you to how that mechanic works. Um, and the sort of the importance of what these cards do throughout the whole entire story. Uh, right after he leaves, a knock sounds at your shop door. You answer, and standing before you happens to be the city's ruling force, Countess Nadia. She beseeches you to read her cards and help her with a problem. She needs you to help her to capture the killer of her husband, Count Lucio. And this killer's name happens to be Dr. Julian Deverock. Does that or does that not sound interesting already? I mean, a murder mystery in a romance game, sign me up. But anyway, you can't exactly turn down the Countess, so you agree to come to the castle and help with your magician powers to hunt down the fugitive doctor. The Countess then leaves, with, leaves you with more questions than answers, and at this point, you just want to finish your evening in peace. That is when a masked intruder enters your shop, and this intruder just so happens to be Dr. Julian Deverock. You exchange words with him, and now you're even more confused. And I'll just say the story rolls on from there. I don't want to reveal too much, because it's just such a fun story to play through. But with that said, I may spill some minor spoilers now, because I do want to say a little bit more about Asra before ending this video. So, as I said, you are his apprentice as like a magician in training and Asra himself is a very strong magician. He also has a very adorable familiar named Faust who is definitely best girl and you cannot argue with me on this. Uh, but you see that I've added her on his shoulder in this piece that I'm working on. I will admit though, I don't in any way hate Asra, but he was never my first choice to play through the story, definitely at the beginning when I first found this game. Mainly because he keeps a lot of secrets and he always felt very suspicious to me from the very get-go. But honestly, another reason I love this game versus others in its genre is because you really get a lot out of playing everyone's roots, even if you're not completely sold on liking that character very much. Um, because it really does help to reveal all these little mysteries in the story and helps you to piece everything together. And also, little things that happen in other story routes actually help you to make decisions in like the main person that you like playing through. Like, it's that interconnected and cool. But be warned, if you are playing Asura's route, and then you play another character's route. It will kind of be heartbreaking if you think about it in the context of Asra's story. Because since all these stories are interconnected, knowing the information that you do from Asra's story just... Ugh. Ugh. It's just, that, that, that's all I'll say on it because it's too spoily to reveal that. But it's a, it, it'll knock you in the feels for sure. As far as the actual relationship that builds between you, the MC, and Asura, I would say it's very well balanced as far as like who has the power in the relationship. 
Another point I love about this game is that the choices that you make really do give you the choice to be either like the pursuer or the one pursued in the story as far as like the romance side of things go. Again, versus some of the other games I've played where that is so not the case. Ugh. Overall, Arsa is one character I've grown to really like and enjoy his story, as well as just his personality a lot, since he is very sassy, but also at times he has a very emotional side, maybe more so than I feel other characters show. Um, although both him and Nadia are characters I need to really play through the beginning again, since I did not choose like the good options the first time around, the ones that basically cost coins, because yes, that is the system that they have in place for the game, but the developers do give um, you a lot of options to sort of gain free coins throughout the game uh, in not very hard or crazy ways as other games might do. Um, yeah, I've, I've played other games where the wait times or the prices are just so insane that you can't actually move on through the story until, like, months later. Um, the developers, are, developers of the game are just also really memey and, like, fun people, just as everyone else is in this fandom. So definitely go check them out on, like, their Instagram and their Twitter if you want just some hilarious behind-the-scenes stuff. Um, but yeah. Because, basically, when I was first playing the game, I was saving all my coins for just my ultimate favorite character, at least as it stands right now, our fugitive Dr. Julian, which I will talk more about in my next video, since that is the next character I'll be working on in this series. So yeah, I think I've rambled on enough for one video. In the upcoming videos, I will get more into the story and characters, which may end up being more spoiler heavy. So if you want to hop on and start playing this game now, I have linked it from the app store down in the description, as well as the Amino community where fangirl me posts fan art like this and makes silly soundtracks based on the characters and just other meme things So from this game. So yeah. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day, guys.